Hello. Happy Wednesday. From my little corner of the world to you, please drop me a comment if you are here. Um, you know what? I need to. I just said fan. Where did the remote go? Okay. Drop me a comment. Hi, Anne. There we go. All right. Well, I'm live. Uh, that's a good sign. So um, I'm here. Good evening, Beth. Hello, everybody. Just going to make sure. I was trying to get that fan blowing on me because I'm dying of heat right now, as a matter of fact. There we go. Now I'm not. All right. Hello, Virginia. Hello, everybody. We're in the same thing as this morning, so I have no idea. All right, this is great. Uh, people are logging in, so that's a good sign. I legit was uh, just thinking about disappearing today, but uh, one cannot do that. All right, uh, I am going to be honest. I haven't watched the news today. I'm at peace with that. I need to get caught up, but uh, Sometimes what happens is maybe catching up isn't the best thing for me. And I just stayed in New Orleans today. Oh, hold on. This was this morning. All right. Hello, everybody. Hello. Hi, everybody. So glad to be here. I need some positive connection right now. Okay. Robin. I like those words. We're going to positively connect. That's exactly what we're going to do. But I am going to. Okay, here we go. I'm here. Uh, North Dakota. I'm doing a bit better. Uh, this morning I was a little bit off the rails and I will admit when I know I'm off the rails, did I create, um, Deborah Piquito, a little bit. Um, however, this is what I drew. This is what was intending to come out. but uh, did not. So it's going to come out tonight. Uh, this morning, I want to thank those who are doing the uh, challenge with me, the mixed media challenge with me. Thank you for understanding that. Um, oh, this is my mother. Hold on. My mom's on FaceTime. Oh, I just hung up. Oh, no. Okay. Sorry. My mother is FaceTiming me, but I can't figure out how to get to it. Oh. Hi, Mom. I just went live online. Just say hi. Sorry. Yeah, just Listen, say. Call me, when, call me later. Okay. I love you. I'll call you. Did you like the? Okay. Love you. Bye-bye. Oh, sometimes you just need your mother. Okay. So uh, let, let me uh, go back to what is going on. Um, Yesterday, y'all know, uh, life happened, and um, that is not part of life. I don't even know why I said that, but um, we're gonna. People are saying they need tonight. I debated a huge cancel cancellation across the board. That was my mother. In times of uh, stuff, that was my mom. Uh, I just wanted to talk to her. Oh, we need my distraction tonight. That's perfect. So we're gonna do a butterfly. Uh, but I'm going to just bring everybody up to speed and thank everybody for this morning. Those who are doing the challenge with me, thank you. Um, I got one message that said, you didn't finish the challenge. Uh, she just didn't see what had happened this morning. A little bit, I just woke up and I was consumed and I was very honest and I approached um, what was happening from the space I was coming from. Now I'm gonna say the space I am coming from, um, you know better, you do better. I've been learning, I've been reading all day. I am gonna share some links. Actually, I found one to be very helpful that I found on npr.org about helping those and just finding real places that you can donate your resources, your time and money. So I'm just going to throw that up. Um, I throw that up. I feel like that's what I've been doing all day. Uh, yesterday, as you know, there was a very tragic event that happened yet again. And I hate to say yet again uh, in the United States. And um, 
uh, I'm just going to explain where I'm coming from. We are going to be distracted at 545. I will be painting whether I'm just sobbing into my art. Um, but I always say that your art journal is a place to get lost. And I did do a little bit of art journaling and then I drew a butterfly. And here's the other thing that happened. I turned the page in my little calendar. I have a calendar and I, we were talking about butterflies and it said, um, I turned the page. It was a butterfly and it says, fly high, be brilliant, celebrate all your accomplishments. Um, maybe not the day to celebrate accomplishments, but just a day to reflect and to um, gather. And today we're going to just escape a little bit. I want to thank the group um, in my challenge group that paid to be there and have my presence and my lesson. Today we hit pause. Everybody let me hit pause so gracefully and so nicely. I needed it. I actually ended up a little bit in tears. I will tell you yesterday when I got the news. Thank you, uh, Wendy said. I'm thinking about everybody in the USA. Yesterday when I got the news, my heart sank because um, I'm going to Texas next week to see my family. I'm going to see my cousin who is a teacher in Texas and has a one-year-old, a, a baby turning one next week. And um, I just talked to them last week. And then I had this weird feeling yesterday. I don't know what it was. And then all of a sudden I went in panic mode and I had a panic attack, which was weird for me. So I haven't had one in a while, which is good news. And um, my heart sunk. I saw the news and I just couldn't tear myself away. I watched all last night. I was in tears. And this morning I woke up. Um, I woke up and I uh, didn't feel right. We were doing the challenge and I just could not be myself. I couldn't go on. That wasn't important to me. Not that you weren't important to me, but life was so much more important. And um, so, uh, by the way, they're in Houston. She is A-OK. -okay. I will go see my baby Drew turn one next week. And I'm looking forward to that. Uh, but this morning, I felt like uh, I just couldn't paint in the subject matter that we were painting. Everybody was so amazing. I got online. I spoke at eight as if I were teaching, and I cried. <laughs> so uh, then I jumped on my Facebook page because I normally do something for my birthday. I gave a couple of art journals away. I did a quick art journal page by myself in silence with... Um, uh, classical music playing. It was great. I just needed that space. And then all day I kept the news off and um, I did some research. Um, I'm not here to debate. I, I um, can give you a little bit of a background about me. I was married. I uh, was a military wife. I was raised in the Midwest. Um, I think in the United States, mental health awareness needs to be a bigger focus, a uh, huge focus. I also lost my best friend to mental illness at 21, shaped who I am as a person. Uh, so if somebody tells me they are depressed, my golly, I'd be camping on your front porch, figuring it out. Um, um, so I'm not going to jump on either side of stuff. I am going to say that... Um, vote. <laughs> I'm also going to say I'm just beside myself how an 18 year old. Anyway, I went off the rails this morning. I will admit it. So I'm not even, um, I'm just going to be honest and say the space I'm coming from today was just going to be a big old cancellation for me. But the one thing that I do when I am upset when I'm happy, when I'm sad, when I'm mad, uh, I go right to my art journal. Here's the other thing. Uh, as a teacher, being in the schools, having teachers as friends and family, uh, I can't even imagine what it's like to be a teacher right now. So every my hat off to every one of those teachers. We had a really heartfelt thing this morning. Uh, and I just want to tell uh, those out there with depression, you're on the edge. Life is crazy. Been there, done that. There's life on the other side. There is.
things to be uh, waking up and smiling about. But today, I um, the other thing I'm going to say, uh, I was a uh, Border Patrol wife. And so um, it's a family in itself. That area happens to be uh, highly populated by Border Patrol agent families. And so there were many people affected over there. And I got that side of that today. It was just coming at me all night. And I didn't turn my phone off, nor did I want to. I wanted to feel every moment of it. So um, Elizabeth, Denny, and her husband, which she's here right now, they were in school. Uh, they were teachers. And so I know that this just affects everybody greatly. I can't. I, I wish I could fix things. I can't. And it seems minuscule to be here. Teachers are the most precious. I always say education is, is power. When you are educated, that is power. And you know that from third world countries. Uh, when you can have education, you learn so much. So what happened yesterday, 10 years ago, I think about, um, you know, Sandy Hook. The other thing is my kids, when they were in school, uh, Santana, Santee is about 15 minutes from where I live. So it just is there. I don't know what to say other than, um, thank you for being here. I hope not to lose it. And, um, thanks for just wanting to join in. So with that said, <laughs> uh, Normally, I just say what's going on in my little world, but uh, got nothing. Uh, I will tell you. I will tell you I feel minuscule in this world. And uh, for you teachers, I give you all props. So also for those of you who are now raising kids in this environment, and I know my audience might be a little bit older, um, <laughs> probably have grandkids, but my kids are 21, 20, whatever. And um, we have talks about this stuff. We did. And uh, I just can't help it. I am going to give another art journal away. <laughs> I gave two away this morning. I'm going to give another one. Uh, just for the reason of uh, art is therapy. I am not a therapist. Uh, but I will tell you that art has brought me through so much. Um, and for those of you in this world, there is so much greater good that uh, goes over bad. Uh, you know it by those first responders, those teachers, every teacher, the teachers that were in the classroom greatly affected and those teachers who were in surrounding rooms. I mean, can you imagine the amount of PTSD that is going to come out from all of this and kids bounce back, but that is going to be the part of their foundation forever. Um, so I am not here to, um, I am not here to um, tell you all what to do. I am going to tell you, um, you guys are just, you guys are just right now posting everything that needs to be posted. <laughs> Art is therapy. Uh, did I draw a butterfly? Yes, I did. Oh, you can't see it. Well, it's there. Um, okay. Deborah just said I was a critical care nurse for, um, many years and carried a lot on my shoulders and this staff is going to, yeah. Okay. So I don't know what to tell you other than I thought about just, just canceling. I don't really, I don't need to be here. I, but I, I'm going to give one of these journals away. I freaking just no, leave a comment. All right. So I'm just gonna, I did pour this amount of wine, which is about the amount that I can calculate. Um, <laughs> that I can withstand tonight. So um, I will tell you today, and I was talking to people, there is, there is, there are reasons to have your babies do your thing and know at the end of the day, 
uh, that we're all doing the best that we possibly can. Um, I'm going to give this link again. I was on NPR. I am not, uh, I did some research. I want, I thought this was a good link to help people. Uh, I'm not here to debate. Uh, if anything gets out of hand, by the way, I could just hit cancel and go away. We're not here to debate how um, I could. I, if I had a magic wand, I would fix this. I always wonder what those in other countries um, think of the United States. I am a military born and bred woman. Um, here's the thing about me. I love my country. And I think we are far better than this. I think we are far better than this. Yesterday, when I saw that coach in Texas for the Warriors, I was like, yep, basketball doesn't matter. So at the end of the day, I just want to thank you. Um, I'm going to carry on. Tomorrow, I am going to finish that challenge. Whether I finish it in a puddle of tears, I will do it. Um, let me just move this a little bit, you guys. Uh, so, uh, see, yeah. And I know other countries have different uh, beliefs in, um, I'm not going to debate things today. I was born in the Midwest. I was raised with gun safety. That's how I was raised with gun safety. Um, yeah, I was coach Kerr. I mean, the warriors, uh, I think the other thing that um, I think the other thing that I'm going to say about everything is sometimes in these situations you go from despair, grief, madness, and those just then you backtrack. Um, that's what I'll say. All right. So as for me, I am going to paint. Uh, for those who are in the challenge and wondering about uh, mixed media makers, yes, we had opened the doors before things had happened. You'll want to join mixed media makers. Let me know. Um, I don't know what I'm going to paint tonight. Uh, the only thing I will tell you is um, everything about what I do is just being here and uh, if there are educators here, y'all join hands and just know that you have, I would say, one of the most important jobs in the world. Uh, but actually, I would say to those parents out there, you have the most important job in the world. Okay, what are we doing? <laughs> For those of you who have never joined me, I don't normally leave my heart on the table before we start, but it's where it's supposed to be. Okay. Um, I'm going to have to turn down my fan because otherwise I'm going to have this thing uh, drying everything out before I even paint. All right. Which gives me a good time to say my art journal is my space to um, reflect, uh, be who I am, do what I uh, feel the feels. Here's another thing. Uh, art is a uh, form of therapy. It's a form of um, healing. The other thing about art, and you got to know this, and I know I have a platform. I guess I know I have a platform. There's a few of you here who give me that platform. Uh, but at the end of the day, art is a platform. And maybe sometimes you do not agree with that art. But that's, artists, that's that artist's way of expressing themselves, maybe sharing a point of view that you have never had to walk a mile in. Walk a mile in somebody's shoes. Um Tonight I was going to paint hearts. I thought about it. Maybe something will end up on this page. I don't know. But I'm going to actually, um, I sat down and I was kind of just, this is what I drew. It was just there. I meant to just dive in. But today, um, you know, I got lost in um, the delivery of a bed. Um, I got lost in holding my dog a little too tight. My dog has taken a liking to the new bed in the new guest room for my parents. I took moments to just look at her little face when I closed the door. 
And um, I don't know what to say other than uh, I'm here every Wednesday live for free with a free demo. We can debate. We can talk. Uh, we have a platform. Um, and at, at the end of the day, I will go through and read all the comments. I kid you not. My eyes are so blurry just from crying. <laughs> so I'm trying to keep, um, I'm trying to keep my stuff together, my shoot together. All right. And it is, uh, Sherry just said, it is a raw emotion that everybody is feeling. And as the days go by, I'll regain uh, composure. Uh, will dad be joining you on Wednesday when they're here? Okay. My parents are going to be here, not next week. I am going to Texas next week. And by the way, when I get off that airplane in Texas and I hold that baby boy, um, I'm going to have to be really mindful of how tight I am hugging my cousin's baby who is turning one. If you don't know, she had lost her mother. And so I have promised I will be there every step of the way. And if by golly, I'm, it was supposed to be a working weekend. And I am so glad that God has a hand in everything I do. It is not going to be a working weekend. I'm going to go there and I'm going to hold a baby and my uncle and my cousin. So if you see a lot of stuff over, um, Facebook next weekend, not this weekend, next weekend, the following weekend, the 14th, my parents will be here for two weeks. I will get my parents on. For those of you who have met my parents, they are just amazing, fine pieces of people. And I call them and um, we're just going to paint tonight. I have, hold no promises that anything will be of value. And if it's not, I can always hit delete. <laughs> If it is and we um, just learned and we gathered, then my job is done here. So uh, this is what we've got going. I, you are going to have me cry. No, I'm not going to have anybody crying. Uh, and the, the bed arrived on time. In fact, I was on the phone when it arrived and it was when I was, I was on a business call. Today has been just a comedy of errors. Uh, the right tool, the right job. That would be my pops. So um, I called my mom just to have a little extra hug before we went on. And by golly, they were a Bible group, Bible study thing. So um, that was it. I want, you want my t-shirt? I just got this, Stitch Fix. I got this yesterday, Stitch Fix. Y'all want my code? I can save you $25. By the way, the rest of it, I took photos. Um, Stitch Fix got me wrong this week. I asked for summer dresses, but I got a little bit of um, pastels. <laughs> um, you know what I'm going to do, Deborah? Okay. Uh, this is Stitch Fix. All right. I kept two things. I took a bunch of uh, photos of me wearing the Moo Moo's though. I just got a request for um, pastels, but I am going to keep things out. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We're going to, yeah. If anybody needs a code for stitch fix, I'll hook you up because uh, that's it. I loved when your parents made appearances during the old, um, I'm not, I don't plan on cancel or mixed uh, or Wednesdays. So y'all can meet them. If you're in my Facebook groups, uh, if you're in Facebook groups, if you're in my membership groups, your Artful Journey Mixed Media Makers or um, uh, Mixed Media Makers or Art, Art, Art Masters, uh, we'll have some special membership only time. Okay, in June, who wants to do that? All right, code please. Um, Sue Miller, just, yeah, if you guys want to join, I'll give my resources. This is not, let's get started. Uh, but here, I will give it to you. Uh, I, I, I'm not a very good dresser. So if y'all think that um, I am, that's, uh, I think, I think I can give you a code. Here we go. All right. This, this just came yesterday. I kept two things. Oh, I can talk to you about art masters, but we're not going to do about now because somebody is probably joining me and they want to paint. Guess what? Let's paint. By the way, my jeans come from them too. I don't know how they know my big butt size, but they do. All right, here we go. Let's paint. All right, there you go. 
So I drew this. I mean, I just sketched it. It was just an outline. None of this has to be crazy. Uh, yeah, June is going to be spent with my parents. I had a request from Deborah for pastels. So I pulled out the, pa uh, the pastels, uh, pastel dreams from Prima. I will use, but I also pulled out, uh -uh. I think because I'm feeling blue. Look at that. Okay. I can almost fit everything on this page. Just a butterfly. It was just a quick sketchy poo. I don't know what's going to happen on this. All right. But the only way we're going to know what's going to happen is if we just take a gander and do it, right? All right. I like that. You guys, I'm thinking we schedule our uh, morning... Cheers. I think we schedule our morning meditation and or wine with wine and mixed media Monday when the parents are here. Okay. All right. Now, uh, I'm working in watercolors today. This is a watercolor journal. Janet said hit record. So hit record. Okay. Oh, to heal the soul. Here we go. Now, I'm using a Water Lily watercolor brush. You can just use any brush you have. But guess what? We're just going to... I am just going to... I don't know what I'm doing, to be honest. We're just going to see where this takes us. All right. So um, I'm going to go with the blues in the pastel set. This is by Prima. We're just going to wet, like, we're just going to, we're just going to. We're just going to see where this takes us. Now, you know what? I'm going to have to sweat for the sake of art, which I really don't want to do. But that fan and between the temperature in here, legit, I am going to start um, sweating to death. But I this will dry too quick. I did separate my uh, drink, but you're right, oh, that has happened far. It usually happens more with tea because I think I value the wine more. This is in the pastel set because Deborah told me to create. Okay. Now I'm just going to do a little bit of this, a little bit of this. Da, 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 da. All right. Um, I'm looking. Mm -mm -mm. Really want a teal. Yeah, that'll work. That'll work. That will work. What color is this? Okay, that, yeah, that'll work. Okay, we're just, okay, we're going to take the long, giant DNA of hair. I, that is pretty, but we're just gonna, we're just gonna do this. Uh, that's uh, Sennelier set. Just go a little darker, maybe another blue, another teal. I, I, I don't know what's happening, by the way. We're just gonna, we're just gonna do. And then we're gonna go next door to that color. I don't know what that color, oh yes, well, it's very similar. Maybe a purple. I don't know, Deborah. can I use a purple in here or are you gonna get mad? A little Monica in my life. Okay, I don't want, Deborah. please, please. I should just assign people to lead. I feel like um, a little bit of purple is going to make me happy in this. Do we want that purple? <laughs> do we want that purple? Or do we just want to? Oh, Deborah said yes. OK. Yes, I'm just using water. Please don't overthink, said Butterfly. Deborah, can I use a little bit of pink, please? Deborah was a teacher and a nurse. Oh, please, Deborah. Oh, yeah. If you ever think you need to create with just a vengeance and a plan, um, probably not the girl for you. I'm more of a non-planner. Oh, she said yes. 
All right, now things might start to get a little pondy here. I'm gonna take a, first I'm gonna take this towel and wipe the sweat off of my brow because I'm dying in this room. And then I'm gonna dry off my brush and I'm just gonna pull things back a little bit. So if things start to pond up, do, and you wanna blend things and you wanna soften it. Elizabeth, I think I just need to be adopted by you and your husband. Do you think that's fine? I mean, I'll talk to my parents and see if it's okay, but I feel like I just want to be in your world. <laughs> so many of you, I just want to be in your world. I'm just taking that blue. That today somebody said that their daughter was afraid to have her baby. And all I could think about was there is so much greater good and there are so many amazing good people who do so much in this world that we can't be afraid to bring good into this world. Now, all I'm doing is taking the brush into that color, into that color, just like that. Because it's kind of drying out, and I'm just, would my last name be Denny? I'm, I'm kind of cool with that. Although I'm going to stay Wine Zephyl for the rest of my life. So now we're just, we're bringing back. I'm just dipping into that blue I'm using the tip of this brush I know it seems quite it's a quill brush it's a very um, it's very uh, I'm also drying it off because I don't know about that, but I'm kind of, it's just the way it's going. It's like the thickest brush in the whole wide world. By the way, thank you all for or many of you who signed up for the retreat and we have new mixed media makers to welcome. That's just brightening out my little world. And I'm just going around the edge with a darker color. I really don't know about a background. Uh, I am thinking, I'm gonna dip into this lighter. There's a, a lighter, just these two blues right here. Just, just, I'm going to blend a little bit more here. Let this purple do its thing. Ugh, breathe. Okay. Yeah. What do you think? Um, I'm being asked a question about brush oil powders. Yes, I have used them. Also, Ken Oliver makes a very similar product, I believe. Um, yep. Uh, I have. I love them. Now, one more little dip. It, oh, watch this be like the butterfly of my world. Hmm. Uh, and for those of you who were... <laughs> People were messaging me about mixed media makers today. The doors are open till Saturday. Uh, I only open things once or twice a year and that was pre-scheduled and uh, the email had already gone out. So it's there. There we go. That butterfly is making me happy. Now, to be honest with you, What's in this background other than me erasing my pencil mark that went off the uh, rails? 
I am going to, um, I'm going to let this dry for a second, but I am going to splatter paint over the top of this and call this bad boy done. Oh, it needs little tentacles. <laughs> Is that what those are called? <laughs> um, yeah, it needs those things. Now, I can pull my markers out, but. Isn't that how they feel? Okay. I don't know, they're like cat, uh, oh, sorry, antenna. Tentacles or octopi, oh yeah, yeah, okay. Uh, my teachers are literally standing up screaming out of their chairs right now. All right, uh, for, so my, these are antennas. It, so y'all can j just tell me what they do, please, please. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> um, thank you, I am not a teacher and uh, I taught kids art. That's all I did. Okay. Now I'm going to continue to build up their little bodies. And for those who want to tell me they're not bodies, they look like a body. Okay. What do you think? Um, and then this little, I'm just going around the edge and um, <laughs> you guys are not tuning in for my educational quality, are you? <laughs> oh, I needed that. Okay, so if it starts to get lost, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, maybe this butterfly was just... By the way, my butterfly has tentacles. <laughs> <laughs> um, this reminds me of the time that I'm going to a Padre game with my daughter on Saturday night, and I kept telling the, the my friends I wanted to be on the Trinitron, and it was, I don't even know what the name of the, the giant thing was, which by the way, I ended up on it, but they made fun of me forever about getting those words wrong. So now I'm just coming in with this little brush and just, yeah. <laughs> you guys, tentacles, antennas, what's the difference? <laughs> ay, ay, ay. And I correct everybody too. Look at that. Just a little pencil marks. <laughs> now, um, damn it. <laughs> My mom's going to want rewatch this. The Jumbotron? Yeah, <laughs> the Jumbotron. I was calling it the Trinitron. <laughs> damn it. There's a bunch of people correcting me today. All right. I got to stop. I really love this guy the way he is. I love you just the way you are. Do, 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 do. Okay. I should give him little eyeballs. Okay. Okay. Tentacles can grab. Antennas, on the other hand, don't grab anything. Okay. So my butterfly has tentacles so that it can grab dinner on the way home. <laughs> By the way, there is a saying, oh, somebody, Anne, and I will never forget this. Somebody told me that, um, oh God, the metamorphosis of a butterfly, especially as being a woman, like you are ever changing and evolving. And that always meant something to me and always thinking about yourself as a butterfly because you go in a cocoon, the whole thing. Uh, please tell me to leave this thing alone because I love him just the way he is. I got to stop touching him. Okay. Now um, I'm going to ruin it right now. Right now I'm going to ruin it. What am I going to do? I'm looking. I want to splatter paint. Somebody give me the saying. Oh, by the way, the uh, the saying, which I, you all know, sometimes I turn every my artwork into uh, um, fly high, be brilliant, celebrate all of your accomplishments. That is going to go on this. But I want to splatter blue paint. And I'm going to start with up step away. No, no, 
We are not going to leave this like this. You know me. I have to take it one step further and just ruin the whole thing. Okay. Mm, 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 mm. Fan brush. Check. Now, let's do this without messing it up, okay? I'm taking a fan brush. I am... I am going into light paint and dark paint, and we'll just start. If everything goes to heck in a handbasket, <gasps> yeah, yep, yep. I'm not going to go too crazy, please, please. I should probably dry it first, Tarita, <laughs> but I'm not going to. I could, but no. Okay. Okay, do we like? You guys can stop, by the way. <laughs> but you know me. Um, we're going to go. It's only 610. I got plenty of time. Now I'm just going to, I'm tapping this fan brush. I probably should dry it first, but I will next. But I could also put a little mask around this. Like if I were thinking clearly, I could put a little mask around it so that I don't get. Um, like, maybe I don't want, um, I could always go over that. Forget that. Just forget it. That's too much work. <laughs> Are a bunch of you just sitting there going, what the heck is she doing? Okay. Now I'm going to, I'm going to increase. I'm going to increase the intensity because that's what I feel like doing. I feel like making love. Look at that. Look at all that blue. You see? Oh, you don't see it. It's right here. I'm just wetting said. No, nah, the butterfly doesn't. Yeah, no. Nah. It probably does. It probably does, but not mine. Yeah. Yeah. I, I'm just going in. I, I'm hitting every blue on the way. Sometimes you got to take chances. And that's what I'm doing. Now, I'm not, I'm not, oh, whoop, that was my keyboard. <laughs> By the way, Jody, that fan brush looks like it has tentacles. No, those are antennas because it cannot reach out and grab anything. <laughs> Tell me to stop. Should I stop? I'm going to do one more thing. I, I'm just grabbing paint from wherever it exists at this point. If you don't take a chance, you don't grow. By the way, Deborah is like my quote guru. She has no idea when I see her at the retreat and I go for a crazy long hug and I start crying. It's just going to be my thing. All right. Are we good? Should I stop? I should stop. I should stop. Yes. Stop. By the way, Deborah, that couldn't be more clear. My fear of public speaking has been okay. I know. Not perfect. Not great. But perfect enough for me. Um, I am gonna do one little thing and that's ruin it. No. I don't even know. Uh, I don't, do I have any metallic paints lying around? You know what I do? No. No, I, I don't have any, I don't have anything handy, Joanne, but I love that idea. I'm just going to take a heat gun to this right now. I was going to do something. Yes, I'm going to do it. And I, I actually don't mind that he has a polka dotted body or whatever. Just, it's enough for me. I'm happy. I'm going to dry this. I literally um, just cleaned off my keyboard yesterday. And my keyboard is covered in paint again. That's okay. It was meant to. Jody said to stop. I feel like this guy is about to fly off the page. Boy, oh, boy. So here's the thing about when I art journal. These are my game-changing um, pens. I love these. 
and I'm probably going to go up to a 0.7 just on this. Just I, I, I'm learning the points, and which is so amazing. 0.7. Look at that. I just want to now. I'm not. Don't get upset. I am. Oh, and I'll. Oh, uh, let me come down on this. Okay, I do have those pens on my website. Um, I'm just. I'm not going to do anything major. Nothing major. Nothing major. I am just going to go around a little bit, especially because I feel like the outline of the body got a little bit lost. Just I'm, I'm dotting it. It kind of goes, it, it goes with what I did. Okay. And I, I, I see a couple of pencil marks. So I'm just being crazy. I'm not drawing. I'm dotting. <laughs> and I, I, I just want to give a little emphasis. I, I'm loving this butterfly. I would probably go around the whole perimeter if I didn't. But I'm going to give this. I'm going to give the antennas, for those of you who have antennas on yours, just a little. Okay. Mine have tentacles. By the way, I probably should have listened during biology and all those other good classes, but I didn't. That was my best friend's job because she wanted to be a veterinarian, the one I spoke of earlier who framed my life. Um, she was the one who did all of our um, dissecting, and she's the only reason I passed biology because she did all of our group projects and did my dissection as well because... Um, I could not. Yeah, there we go. I don't want these stark lines. I just want, I just want, oh, God almighty. I just feel in my heart that, oh, I needed this. Okay. And we'll go back to the little body. Now, is somebody going to tell me what the body Sue Miller is a retired biology teacher. I am horrified that you didn't listen. <laughs> um, Sue Miller, just so you know, Alicia Poe Van Letten was my best friend. She was the one I mentioned earlier who I lost in college. She is the reason that I passed biology. Uh, but I am the reason she passed English because I wrote her most amazing paper. <laughs> okay. Nobody told us it wasn't supposed to be a group effort. Okay. <laughs> oh, my God. Sue Miller, you're a retired biology teacher. All right. By the way, I do post these projects on my website. Oh, I'm even more happy by removing the tape on this just because it's it's it was led by Deborah who said, go pastel. I did sort of go pastel. Oh, Sue Miller, I'm so sorry to disappoint you. Do you want to? Do you want to know what else? Accounting. <laughs> um, you guys make me. I, I. By the way, I never cheated. I passed everything I did, other than dissection. Dissection was not my thing. I couldn't do it, especially the little shark. Okay. Oh, I don't know what is going on here but um excuse my eyes i will photograph this that was enough for me uh every wednesday i am live here on my facebook page uh, for those of you who are interested in doing mixed media with me and by the way that butterfly back there I was doing some thinking today. Anybody maybe who joins Mixed Media Makers and by Mixed Media Makers, I should make this a project. Oh, now my brother is calling me. Hold on. Tim, I am live on the internet right now. Do you want to say hi? Okay, let me, um, let's hit FaceTime. 
Can you FaceTime? No, no, no. I, I don't want to do that. Oh. No, I'm not, not going to FaceTime. Okay. Uh, my brother says hello to everybody. I'll be done in a moment. Bye. Uh, by the way, I'm sure when I'm done, my other relatives. Okay. Uh, so for those of you, I, just should I record? I will figure this out. Um, <laughs> that's my brother, my baby brother. Okay. It's really hard to see. Um, thank you. From the bottom of my heart, I now have to call back every one of my family members who decided to call me on a Wednesday when I'm busy. Uh, have a wonderful evening. I will turn said little butterfly into a quote that I had today. Nothing happens by accident. Uh, I will figure out how to get this to you guys. Uh, mixed media makers, for those of you who decide to sign up, this will be a freebie. I'm just going to send it out into the world. Uh, uh, thank you. Um, by the way, I will give that link one more, uh, more, one more. Um, I, uh, I just did via NPR and K, um, uh, KPBS that just seemed one of the things I have not had time to look at, um, today. I just did not purposely look, but how do you, uh, give back to those who are in need? I'm just going to put that article out in the world. I've seen it shared by a few people who I know and love and trust. And um, I was reading it this uh, afternoon. So at the end of the day, thank you so much. Uh, it was a good decision. Oh, by the way, turn the recording off. Uh, it was a good decision to just uh, hang out with you guys and do something light and know that this world is a much greater place with many of us in it. Thank you. Many of you in it. Okay. Big hugs to you all. Will I be live next Wednesday? Yes, I will. I will be live next Wednesday. It is the day before I go to Texas. And I'm going to, if somebody reminds me. Oh, by the way, uh, Anne, Anne, we need to pick out a random comment. We'll just, I'll, we'll like throw a number out there and we'll pick a random person, random to get an art journal from me because I think it's important in your life. Anne is taking care of that for me. We go in there and just use that randomizer, pick a number, and we just count the comments. So somebody is going to be winning uh, another art journal tonight. Um, thank you for a really amazing birthday month. Next Wednesday, I will be live, and I'm going to bring show and tell. And if I get permission from mom, I'm going to show a picture of my baby Drew. And um, I will, I'm sending out love and hugs to all of you. Um, if you want to send a message or you need something, let me know. If I didn't answer your questions, the comments were flying in far faster than I could get to tonight. Have a wonderful evening. I will talk to you guys all next Wednesday. Um, I am doing Friday favorites this week. But I haven't picked any favorites. Let me know what you want to see. I'll talk to you all soon. Have a great evening. Thank you so much.